Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Rumble, and we're going to start this part, or this video, with going into Bright Beach, and I'm going to mention right now that uh, this uh, video is going to be a little bit longer than the other ones, because of uh, one reason, really, because um, in the last video I only did one area, just because I had to show off the thing that I never showed off, and I like usually to do two areas per uh per video so in this video I'm gonna do three areas just so I can you know have everything caught back up and for it not to be weird I guess I don't know I still rather do it that way you know I guess I could just do one area but I'd rather do it three areas rather than uh, just one so yeah I'm starting this with Venusaur seeing how he's gonna do with this seems to be doing okay I mean he could be doing better I mean he's about to die but whatever and oh can we I want to get him ah oh, dang it that was close seems like that has kind of a knockback too the poison powder that's what that is by the way um I think I'm gonna change out here let's see who can we change out to uh let's change out to another Venusaur why not basically same moves but just a different one fine with which I agree that I think that looks nothing like a vine <laughs> but whatever they called it that and that's what they th say it is and whoa hello there <laughs> uh, yeah those are armor stars uh, those are also fossil Pokemon there's some magic carps which I assume do nothing so that's cool I guess <laughs> not really but whatever <laughs> yeah magic carps if you didn't know, oh, there's a blast toys actually right there. That's cool. Um, if you didn't know, magic carps are usually in the Pokemon series. They're known for having only knowing splash, and if you're lucky, they might know tackle. But the thing is that magic carp actually evolves into a decent Pokemon, at least better than magic carp, sufficiently better than magic carp really. Um, it, its name is Gyarados. Um, you can look it up if you want to. I'll probably be encountering one later in the game. I'm not sure if anytime soon, but we'll see. Yeah, there's another Omni Star. We ca I kind of wanted to get one over the over them. Blech. I, I wanted to get one. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. He's a pretty cool Pokemon. He's another fossil Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. And also, recently, I was looking up some Pokemon that are in this game, and I figured out that I was actually wrong about this only being, like, Generation 1 Pokemon. Um, this is a game that actually has some Generation 4 Pokemon. I'm not sure if we'll actually... I'm not sure if we'll actually encounter some, but I know we will encounter like second generation Pokemon. I'm not too sure about third generation, but I remember I was actually one of the codes that I was talking about in the last episode um, actually is a uh, fourth generation Pokemon. You can get one that's fourth generation Pokemon. And actually, no, there's a few actually, not just one, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's kind of a weird starting point. Don't see a diagonal one that much. Yeah, we see we're seeing some more repeated Pokemon here. I mean, there's some Dugongs, Starmies, of course, more powerful than they were before, just because it's late in the game, and you know you need more powerful Pokemon, or else I don't know it'd be kind of boring if they just kept the same level Pokemon. You just do the same thing over and over again. Really, only need one rank for the whole game. But yeah, that, that Dugong has a Psychic move. Yeah, Razor Leaf seems to be doing better than a lot, better than Fine Whip, in my opinion. Oh. It's not good. Yeah, that's one thing, like, it's kind of, I, <laughs> I get kind of nervous about, is that I'm not sure when they're actually going to fire their attack, because, you know, it's a different charge time for everybody, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, that's, yeah, that's one that's about to die. Um, let's see. Ooh, that actually wouldn't be that bad. Let's try him out. And yeah, that'll make him sleep. That's, that's awesome. That's cool. Oh, get away, get away. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Such a... Not really... I like... I kind of like Vine Whip. It's not really that useful. I mean, it's kind of just off the side. I mean, you can control it, which is good. If you get control, it'll be a lot harder to use, really. Ooh, and there's a Vaporeon. Va Vaporeon, something like that. I don't know. It's one of the evolutions of Eevee that you can have if you apply Water Stone to it. 
So that's kind of cool. That, that's there. And then we actually got a Scrappy Eevee. That's cool too. <laughs> oh, I need to get away from here. Need to replace him with something real quick. Just run really far away though. Alright. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Uh, let's try this one out, I guess. Why not? I know I'm pretty much just using all Venusaurs, but I mean, might as well try. Oh, this is not a very good move. Oh, well. I'll get us through this area at least. Yeah, this is not working at all. Hang on. Maybe we can use one of those uh, Raichus we got. If I can find it. Get some low power Pokemon though, I don't want those. Um let's see here. You know what? I'm just gonna use Gengar. See how he does. I think he should be fine. Let's get back over to the battle here. It's not a very long range move, but it'll do. Seems to be doing at least two hit kills. At least for these dugongs anyways. Not sure about these Blastoise though. Eh, about the same. I, I might have actually gotten damage on them before though, so... Yeah. I think with each rank... I'm pr actually, yeah. It, with each rank, um, the, floor, the each area gets longer. And also, there's a gold coin. Actually, no, we've seen a gold coin before. Um, yeah, uh, with each rank, the areas get longer, so just to let you know, not each area is going to be, you know, the same amount of floors or whatever, even though I don't know what the amount of floors are in each area, or even one area for that matter. Right, let me just confuse around and see how that works. He might actually attack one of his fellow teammate. I think that's what Confuse Ray does also. If you confuse them, it's actually they'll actually attack each other if you know it happens they happen to attack attack each other, not attract each other. Um although you probably could get them to attract each other, seeing that it is a Pokemon move. Attract is. I'm not sure if that's in this game though. It may be. I don't know. Alright, there we go. I wanna say it's this last four, but I'm not sure. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. that was close. All right, let's get the let's change out real quick. Oh boy. I'm gonna try this guy. See how he does. Just because he has an ice move and ice is okay against water. It's not you know, bad against the water, so. Yeah, here it is. Here's the boss. And I believe this is actually, yeah, this is actually the evolution of Gyarados. I mean, not e Gyarados. Gyarados doesn't have an, ev doesn't have an evolution. Evolution of Magikarp. <laughs> yeah. As I said this earlier, it's Gyarados. I, I can't pronounce that word, but it's that kind of Pokemon. <laughs> actually, you know it would be good against it. I'll wait till I die to do that. If I do die, hopefully I won't though. I mean, yeah, I'm hoping I won't, but you know, if I do, I will. Because it is. Oh, oh, wait, no, it isn't. It's not part dragon type. That's right. Okay, well, I was gonna say, if it was part dragon type, then I would have used the. Uh, um, you know, try to find a dragon Pokemon I can use on it, but it's not a dragon type, I just remembered. Get away from these. Polyrath. I actually like Polyrath a lot. I used, uh, although you do have to do something special to get him, and we died there. That's okay though. We should be able to still beat him. Uh, let me see if I find a good Pokemon. Hmm. Let's 
seeing here. No, the bug types won't be good against it. I'm gonna use this, even though it is kind of low level, but it has a really good move. Yeah, really good. <laughs> it does, yeah, it does at least 100 damage. That's good. And there he goes. And he dropped a lot of money too, wow. And we do not get them. But I'm okay with that. I think we have enough magic cards to do all of them. Evolve into gear does anyways. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, we got some water types to go to uh, Rocky Cave, which is our next destination. At least I think we did. We pro yeah, we pro yeah, we definitely did. And we got a new most powerful Pokemon. That's cool. And also that one ties <laughs> with it. Um. Oh, wow. It has it. Oh, okay. I was wondering what was going on with that. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah. You can't um, I think I might have mentioned this before, but you cannot evolve an Eevee if you have five Eevees, so don't go to this, uh, this, what is it even called? The Recruit Point, and try to evolve it, because it won't work, <laughs> say the least. I'm going to try to teach uh, Starmie a new move, and then we'll go to Rocky Cave. Maybe another Water-type move, hopefully. Psychic, ooh, <laughs> never mind, I will actually take that. What is... Oh, okay. Yeah, this is... Psychic's a really good move. What is that even? Wow. That is... I think that's actually probably the highest damage you can do. That's really good. I'm... Wow. That's a lot of damage. I don't see how this does. Wow. Wow. That does a lot of damage. I'm gonna try to not get her. Or this... It. It. In fact... Let's actually switch to, uh... Somebody else. Switch this Dugong. I don't want to get this thing, get that killed. I might save that for the boss or something. I'm pretty sure ice is uh, super effective against ground types too, so you can use that. And plus flying types, which you might see in this area too. Oh yeah, that, that ice attack seems to be doing a lot more better. A lot, a lot more better. Yeah. A lot better than the other one. Here's some Onyxes, which is the uh, final evolution of. Wait, no, it's not the final evolution of anything. Sorry. Onyx is a standalone. I mean, it does have an evolution, but not till later generations. And there's Kabutops. Kabutops. Also, a Fossil Pokemon. That's kind of cool how we got that. Yeah. There's some flying types over there. Um, that is Arbok. We might have seen Arbok before, actually. But it has a long range move, whatever that move is. Um, but yeah, Arbok is just the poison type, just snake type, and Arbok is po uh, Cobra backwards, by the way, if you didn't know that. Uh, yeah, here's some Rhydons. Also a boss of the game earlier. I'm not sure, I forgot what rank it was, though. I want to say rank. B. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's rank B actually. Because remember, we actually let's do that boss twice. Here's some more golems, and he has a pretty long range attack too. Or actually, was it even right on that we faced? I'm not. I'm not sure. I forgot like what right ons and evolutions and stuff were. So I'm not completely sure about that. Um. Yeah. Here's some more slow bros. Um, also, whenever they like have that l little weird, I don't know, it kind of looks like static around them. That means they just have a status on them that's like bringing down speed or whatever. And I think the color depends on what status is what status is bringing down. So I guess blue is speed in this case. Um, so that's yeah. I'm not sure what the other colors are. I'm pretty sure there are some that you've seen earlier. So.
Sometimes it is hard to collect all the money when you are trying to get out, get rid of all the other Pokemon around you. Oh, hey, we actually got a ride on. That's cool. Now we actually. Not sure how many of the bosses that we have gotten actually, because our, our previous bosses that is. I mean, we're not technically getting the bosses or getting a, something else that was a boss. And whoa, that guy did a lot of damage, and he killed me. All right. Um, I'm actually gonna use. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> As I say, I'm gonna use a. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's use this. Actually, let's use the Kabutops. He has some pretty good moves for this area, anyways. Yeah, that's good. I like the multi hit moves that are. I actually kind of like the straightforward moves, even though they are easy to avoid regularly. Just like for me, anyways. But I mean, I don't know. It's just easier for me to use. And that. I do like how they multi target. I mean, not multi target, but. Uh, well, they do multi target, but like. It hits him multiple times, which is really cool. Get a lot of damage that way. Basically, it's coming one hit, actually. Yeah, that does a lot. That's really cool. And he also has a Zorb, which, as you remember, or may remember, is a, a move that gets HP, so. One of the only ways to get HP in this game, unless, you know, you go defeat an area, then all your HP is gained again. Also, are these... Yeah, these are Machamps, actually. Mach I'm not sure if we've seen Machamps before yet, but Machamps are the final evolution of a... of a... Um... Uh, cho ma well, they're the final evolution of Machop. Yeah, Machop, that's his name. Didn't have trouble remembering it for a second there. Um, but yeah, that's what he's the final evolution of. And, yeah. That's, so I guess we've seen all of them now. The uh, All the uh, evolutions of them. Oh. Oh, cool, we got Kangaskhan. Yeah, I'm trying to get some more HP for good. Boot off, so, because I don't want to lose this last life. Yeah, it is kind of dangerous to use these kind of moves. It's because they're so close range. I don't know. I'd, I wouldn't expect uh, Absorb to be such a close range move, though. And oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> these guys are just all over the place. Wow, there's a lot of them. Yeah, and you can't move off with it whenever you use it. Kind of like how you can move. Uh, what was it called? Oh, and they kill me. All right, then we're gonna use. Uh, where is he? Or it? Whatever. I don't know. It's actual gender, so. No, I knew it was above this. Where's, where's that star? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where's the star? Me. <laughs> All right, there it is. Okay. Now, Psychic is super effective against fighting, so we should have no problem taking him down now. Hopefully we have to keep, keep, keep starting me for the boss, though, because I want to do that just because of how powerful it will be. There we go. Yeah. Oh, you can also skip those trampoline scenes. I guess I'll do that now from now on to make it go faster. And here's his boss, which is... I'm not sure, because I can't tell what it is from now. Actually, what it... Oh. Hmm. <laughs> um, this is a... I believe it... I'm going to make sure... This is a legendary Pokemon. It's this free Pokemon Articuno. This is a legendary Pokemon of the game. One of the three legendary birds of the game. And fitting how we do this one first, seeing that the... Uh, uh, well, actually, I'll wait till later to talk about that, and I'll because that'll spoil the other names of the birds. Um, but yeah. Um, well, actually, I guess I can talk about it now. Something to note is uh, that Uno, 
like Articuno, and Articuno is the first bird. So yeah, and the other is basically the same for them. I'm just gonna say that the endings are Dose and Trace. I'm not gonna say much more than that, but yeah, it is. And oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Ooh, oh, that's not good either. Um. Uh. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> back at this boss so yeah oh also uh kabutas is our most powerful pokemon that's cool and so is this guy um but yeah i'll see you back at the bo boss and also i don't actually show something off now because i saw something really cool uh where's it yeah look at yeah this guy has some pretty good attacks right here i mean it's basically yeah it's cool anyways i'll see you back at the boss Alright guys, we're back at the boss now. Um, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to switch to that goal that I showed off in the last... I mean, when you last saw me, basically. So a couple seconds ago, basically, for you. Not for me, though. But, <laughs> yeah, I still only have one life. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it again. But, we'll see. Hopefully I can, though. Anyways, that's Articuno. Once again, I don't know why I didn't skip the intro. It's mainly... It's... Like, it's one of those battles where it's mainly the minions more than it is the actual boss. Well, I guess it's actually is kind of boss too. But still, I mean, like, it's more of the boss than it is the. I mean, more of the minions than it is the boss just because the minions, or, or whatever you want to call them, have these uh, long range moves, basically. And. It's just, I don't know, it's just hard to avoid, basically. That's all I'm trying to say. And good, she's just doing a put. Or heat. It's doing a push back move, anyways. Get away from it. Basically, whenever Articuno in this game doing a move, get away as quick as possible, because those her its moves are very long ranged, and if you don't get away, you will take a lot of damage. Like I know for some bosses, you saw me attacking while they're charging up the move. Don't do that for this boss. It is very dangerous to do that. And we almost got it, so. And there we go. Whew, I was pretty nervous about that, actually, just because I didn't think I'd actually make that. <laughs> and, well, actually, I can't tell if we got it or not. I don't think we did, though. It would have been pretty cool, though, but no. We got a goal, though. Yay! <laughs> no, actually, through my uh, playthrough, or this again, uh,. I found I got a uh, 599 Pokemon, which is right there actually. He actually died, but still. So yeah, I mean we have to have 600 for rank S, but yeah. Um, uh, debating. Oh well, yeah, let's just go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and go fire furnace. As I said before, this is gonna be a long video. I mean, it might. I hope it doesn't go to 30 minutes, but it might end up to that. I think we should be okay with Golem though. And plus we have another Golem that's the same level. Oh, well, not the same level, but higher level. I'm not sure it moves if he has, but hopefully it's good enough. Yeah, but we should easily take this out with Golem. I may be wrong though, but I'm pretty sure with Golem, even in the regular Pokemon games, not in this game of course, but to get Golem you have to do something special with Graveler. I can't remember what though. I'm not sure if it's like some sort of stone or trading. I remember if you do something special to uh, get him to evolve into Golem. I'm not sure if he. Well, actually, he probably was. I was. I don't know. I was gonna say I'm not sure if he's one of the original, even one of the original first generation Pokemon, but I may be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure he is though. Um, in fact, he's actually gonna get in weak. So let's actually get this <laughs> Pokemon with actually this pretty much actually the same moves. Um, so. And we can, and he's higher power, so why not use him? <laughs> yeah, and this seems to be a useful move too, because it's very long range. It's basically a move that you saw most of the Pokemon using in the. Uh, there's an electrode. Ooh, our first level 600 Pokemon. That's cool. Um. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. No. Okay, it's so basically it's the same moves as the other one that we had. Just a lot more powerful, obviously. Oh yeah, and when I, I was saying that, I already mentioned that. No, Rock Tomb was a move that uh, the minions were using, kind or mostly using in that fight against Articuno. 
So yeah, that's what I was going saying. And whoa, I don't know how none of those didn't attack me. And also the thing with a uh, uh, ground, well, no, not ground, but uh, rock type moves with uh, Charizard, it does uh, four times damage. Uh, super effective is usually two times damage, but uh, it does four times damage to rock. I mean, to Charizard, because uh, uh, it's 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 uh, not super effective. The rock is super effective against flying and fire, so it does four times damage, so it's really good to use that against them. I think I'm mainly be using rock team anyways, just because it'll it's just r more range than earthquake. I mean, earthquake is range. It's just that in a healthy Charizard. Um, <laughs> not sure if that. I think that may mean that this has a lot of health. I would assume. Um, yeah, Earthquake is... It's ranged, but I don't know. I feel more comfortable using Rock Tomb. It's basically the same with, like, Aqua Jet. I, I was saying earlier. And there's another Eevee. And there's another Eevee. I'm actually kind of wondering if each Eevee is uh, special with their own moves. This guy. The other one that we had had a lot of... Uh, I mean, not a lot, but had some pretty strange moves. That's being a normal type. So, actually, it's just got it now. Eh, it's pretty normal. It's speedy, though. I'm trying to see if that healthy Charizard has a lot of health or something. I don't know. I can't tell. It has it have very good moves, though. I'll tell you that. And, oh, no. Okay. I was just checking the map to make sure this wasn't the boss room, because it kind of looked like it, but it's not. And there's another Eevee. And our first not-special Eevee <laughs> that we ever got. I thought that was it for a second. I was like, wow, that was pretty short floor. <laughs> but no. Oh, so, oh something hit <laughs> somebody. Got a couple of rapid dashes. Oh, rapid dashes are the vol form of Ponita. We seen we saw Ponita a long time ago, but yeah, those are the vol form of our vol form of it. And that Charizard was not aiming the right way at all to hit me. And there's the exit up there. Just have to get us some more Pokemon real quick. Shouldn't take long with this amount of damage that this guy does. And some Arcanine, which is actually the evolved form of Growlithe, which we saw earlier in the game. And I've actually never used Growlithe before, as I probably said before, just because I have Leaf Green. And I, well, I may have played Fire Red before, but... And here, actually, oh wait, okay, yeah, wait, oh no, this is the third legendary bird, I guess we did kind of do it out of order, I'm not sure if the, I guess, I guess the second one would be here, yeah, this is the third legendary bird, it is the flame Pokemon, Moltres, and there's Trace for third, I didn't figure that out, too, I mean, I figured that out not too long ago, and that was pretty mind-blowing for me, <laughs> just because I had no idea, and wow, that did a lot of damage. Um, yeah, hopefully we can still make it through. I think we should be able to. Because I, I don't even see what move it used. Yeah, I guess I should recommend not going at all, trying to attack them at all when they're charging up move for any of the legendary Pokemon at all. It's because you really don't know how long range is going to be. We should be able to do this, though, even with this low health. Even though that Arcane I know killed us. Yep. Well, that was a pretty good run of Fiery Furnace. I don't say my, so myself, and I didn't see if it. I was looking at my computer, so I didn't see if it we actually got it or not. So let's see. And no, we didn't. I actually may go back off screen for the legendary birds, just because I don't think we'll be able to see them just regularly in uh, the levels like we do, like Charizard or whatever. So yeah, I might go back off camera to see if I can find one. And there's our most powerful Pokemon. And the speedy EV. Although, oh wait, never mind. I was seeing something. And there's a new Pokemon too, Arcanine. So yeah, uh, yeah, we befriended Pokemon with power 600 or higher. So now I can go to Battle Royale. But we're not gonna do that till we finish Windy Prairie and Eternal Tower first. And also, this has been a long video, actually almost 30 minutes. 
So I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.